Well, if you know me, you know I love lenses. I have a lot of lenses, they're very diverse, but somehow I ended up with three 24 millimeter lenses. So what are they? Why do I have them? Why do I keep using them? In this video, I'll tell you all about it. Stick around. So I shoot mostly prime lenses. I even have a video here about why I shoot primes. And shooting prime lenses means I have to have more lenses in order to cover all the focal lengths that I need. So I have primes in you know every size from 15, 24, 35, 50, 85, 135, 300. They're all separate lenses. I basically have one of each focal length. But all of a sudden I realized a couple of years ago that I have three at the 24 millimeter focal length. And even though the focal length is the same, there really isn't any redundancy here because they each serve a special purpose. So let me start by telling you about the 24 to 70 zoom lens. Bill did a video about this recently, about exactly why you want to have this lens in your bag. And the reason is it's ultra versatile. It's a 24 to 70 2.8 lens. So it covers a focal range that's really multi-purpose. Uh, 24 is really nice and wide, but not ultra wide. And 70 at the telephoto end is really a nice distance for being able to capture portraits and people at a distance. So what really makes this lens valuable is its versatility as far as the focal range. Now for me, I like a nice wide open lens, like 1.4, 2.0 at the max. Um, so the 2.8 limitation on this is really an issue for me in most situations. So that's why I have also a 24 millimeter 1.4 lens. This is the Canon 24 millimeter 1.4 lens. You can see how wide open it there it is at 1.4. Now this is the opposite of the 24 to 70 zoom in that it has no range whatsoever. It's set at 24 millimeters, but I can open this thing up to 1.4, which means I can take ultra shallow depth of field shots using a really wide angle lens, which is really kind of unique. I get a lot of nice shots using this wide open, so I wouldn't give this lens up for the world. It really is a nice quality lens, gives great color, has nice contrast, I never get a bad shot with this lens. And being able to use something like this wide open at 1.4 is really, really unique and gives the photos a really nice look. So you'd think that would basically be all I needed, the 24 millimeter focal length. I have the zoom and I have the prime lens that opens up wide to 1.4. Well, years ago I started shooting with tilt shift lenses also. I definitely recommend you check out the video that I did. Uh, but basically what this lens lets you do is move the lens around in certain ways that you normally wouldn't be able to do with a conventional lens. It lets you tilt it from side to side. It lets you shift it up and down, back and forth in relation to the sensor and really gives you, lets you be able to create some really special effects and do some things that you wouldn't normally be able to do with a conventional lens. Now the maximum aperture on this is 3.5, so it's even narrower than the 2.8 zoom lens. But like I said, this serves its own special purpose. So what does that mean? It means I have three lenses at 24 millimeter, which I don't want to do without any of them. As far as image quality goes, you know, I've been putting pictures up here as we go along and image quality really you can't compare between these. You're gonna get really, really great shots using all of these lenses, but to compare sharpness and things between one and the other really doesn't matter because they each really serve their own special purpose. So pros and cons, the 24 millimeter 1.4 is fixed at 24 millimeters, which means that's the only focal length that can shoot at. But the great part of it is it can really open up wide at 1.4. You can get some really nice shots with a wide angle, wide aperture lens. The 24 to 70, the con for me is the 2.8 aperture. I like to shoot wider than that. Uh, but the great thing about it is you have that great focal length. You have the 24 to 70, you have a nice range, very, very versatile. And the 24 millimeter tilt shift lens, it's really a great lens. I really don't have any downsides to it. It's really super unique. You can create some really great images with it. I don't have anything bad to say about this one. Uh, but really my dilemma becomes when I go out, when I'm going out shooting, and I'm filling up my bag, what do I take with me? I normally wouldn't take the zoom lens with me if I'm going out shooting, you know, for photography purposes, not shooting an event or anything. I normally wouldn't take the zoom with me unless I'm just taking out one lens for some reason. So it comes down to what do I take with me as far as the 24 millimeter between the 1.4 and the tilt shift lens. It's a really tough decision. Every time I make that decision, it's very hard to do. Sometimes I'll take both of these on a trip with me and you know, kind of swap them out as I go along. Sometimes I'll have both of these in my bag at the same time and I'll use them. I use both of these a lot. So that's my big dilemma, but that's how I ended up with three 24 millimeter lenses that I can't do without. Just funny how it worked out that way. I mean, do you have lenses like that where you have, you know, several in a similar focal length or range? 
um, that you just you can't you can't live without that you love having them so you keep them uh, tell me in the comments below any questions you have about these lenses I'm going to put links to them in the description below so you can check that out on Amazon and if you like this video if you found it helpful at all please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and click on the little notification bell this way you get notified every time we post a video thanks for watching and I'll see you next time